Now creating the code is the part that seems to scare people the most and it's actually easy if you follow a few simple guidelines. Let's start by looking at our design again. I'm going to zoom out so you can see the whole thing on your screen and what I'm going to do is I had created a tables layer to show just the basic idea. Let me move this off. Now again you would do this with a pencil sketch instead of taking the time to do it on screen but since I'm doing a video tutorial I don't have that option. Do this on a napkin, do this on a piece of scratch paper, don't spend a lot of time. But this is the blueprint. Now tables have rows and columns. We have how many tables? One, two, three tables. Stop there. Three tables is our basic recipe. I'm going to go into Dreamweaver. I'm going to create a new page and in my options new HTML with no layout create button is off screen sorry but that's what I hit and let me zoom this in a little bit so that you can see exactly what I'm doing now my interface may look a little bit different than yours because I'm in CS4 but basically the same concept let's call this the home page and let's go ahead and save our first page the first page is the index page, always. If I call it page one, I'll have to send you to yoursite.com slash page one dot html. Index will show up automatically. And as you can see, I'm inside the site folder, not inside the images folder because an HTML page is not an image. Let's save it there. And now what we needed to do was three tables. That's all we know so far. We don't know rows and columns. Let's open a table tag and it's going to give us immediately these options. Most of the ones we need are right at the top. I like to start with border equals one. We'll set it to zero later when we're ready to hide our tables. Cell padding is zero. Cell padding is a margin inside the cell. The way you remember that is if they lock you up in the loony bin, the padding is on the inside of your cell. Cell spacing, which is the other one, is the space between cells. Since we're not creating the equivalent of an Excel spreadsheet here, we're using tables for layout. I like to set these things to zero. The last one is down on the bottom, which is the width. And we designed our document to 750. That accommodates people who have uh, 800 by 600 monitors. They get 20 pixels for a scroll bar. They get 30 pixels for those annoying tabs on Internet Explorer. And uh, that leaves them with 750. So I opened a tag. One of my rules is immediately close it. Open a tag, close a tab. A tag. There's table two there's table three and we did say we were going to put a couple of line breaks to move this down uh, so now I've got three tables my middle table was going to be a little bit narrower let's save this piece so far nothing to display yet but I have table one table two table three ready to go and I've left a little space in between let's fold this up for a second and look at our tables again how many rows in each table two one two Okay, let's go back to Dreamweaver and code our rows. TR slash TR. There's a row. Our first table had two rows. Our second table had one row. And our third table has two rows. Our rows are done. Let's hide this again. How many columns? One. Basically think of it as how many columns in each row. One column in each row, two, one. Remember that rows are horizontal, like rows in a theater. Columns are vertical, like columns on a building. Let's go back. We've got one row, uh, one column, two, one. Now we can just plug those in. A column is a TD for table data. And now we can go one column. Now this row has two. I'm going to put the tabs in. You don't have to, but it makes it much easier to see the structure. And then we have one column 
in each of these rows. Let me save it. My tables are pretty much done. Let me hide it again. Let's, let's look at alignment. If there's anything that needs to be aligned either to the top, the bottom, the left, or the right. And what we can see is our phone number needs to go to the right and our buttons need to go to the top. Okay, so let's take a look at this. The buttons are in table two, column one. Let's do those first. Here's table two, column one which is the buttons, and I'm just going to write that in there, even if I can't spell, we'll fix that, uh, as a placeholder. And since this needs to be vertically aligned, it's V align equals top. Um, this still can't spell, look at that. Okay, the uh, phone number is the last row of column two and it's aligned to the right. For align we don't use V align which is vertical align. We'll just use align. Notice I type AL, I've gotten to it. I type the letter R, I've gotten to it. Let's fill in the rest of these placeholder texts. Uh, this is the logo, the bar, the um, photo and the text, and the bar again, and we're almost done. Let's do a quick preview here. Um, I'll load this in a browser, doesn't matter which one, and see if I can get this to fit on the screen. Uh, I'll have to move it across, but you can see my tables are here. Here's the phone number off to the right. Everything else is right. Now, the last thing I want to do is because I'm going to have multiple buttons in one table cell, I don't want these to go lining up and pushing this second cell in. So all I need to do is specify the width of that one cell to control it. Let's go back to our slices in the web layer and we can see that our button slices, I'll turn on the graphics underneath so you can see, if I look in the properties, the width of the first column is 153. Let's go back into Dreamweaver pop that up and that width where our buttons is I'm going to specify the width of the cell and now my tables are all written that should be done let's preview this again just to make sure there we go now we've got nice placeholders our structures done and in the next video we'll put in our images we'll put in our links and we'll finish this thing up